Hey there, everybody, this is Iran. I'm back with another new little indie game. This one just came out a few days ago. It is called Deep, comma, In the Forest. This is an early access title. Um, this is a blind first look. I'm gonna play the first hour or so of the game and just see uh, what it turns out to be like. And uh, if, it's, if, it's worth, if it's worth your time and your money. So let's take a look at the options like we always do. We've got some language options, just English and Russian. I guess we can repeat the tutorial. I haven't done the tutorial yet, so we don't need that. Resolution and full screen is all we have for video, and for audio we have separate music and sounds. I will turn down the music a little bit. It tends to get a little muddled in the videos, I find. Uh, okay, so that's all we've got. Let's go ahead and start a new campaign. And let's see what's going on. Uh, I don't know very much about this game. I think it's uh, sort of a card RPG sort of thing. So greetings, hero. We're glad that you wandered into our forest and decided to go on a difficult journey with us. Keep in mind that the game is in early access. Much of what you come across is still in the process of development. Alright, I will keep that in mind. If you have interesting ideas, suggestions, or comments, feel free to write about this in the discussions of the game. One beast is easy prey for the Mad King, but together we can restore peace in Kingdom. Well, first bit of feedback should be in the Kingdom. There you go. Here's a map of the regions of our little kingdom. Choose any region and go on a mission to defeat the local baron. In the central region, you can find the Mad King. If you want, you can go immediately to him. The more barons you defeat, the more experienced you'll become in battle and ready to final encounter. Uh, ready for the final encounter, I think that should be. Uh, sorry folks, I can't help it. I am an editor, that is my day job. When I see grammatical mistakes, I gotta fix them. Anyway, I think it's pretty understandable what they mean here, so that's okay. The game has global campaign progress and local progress of the current mission. If you're defeated in the process, no worries, our hero is not so easy to catch. The winner is not the one who never falls, but the one who always gets up. I like that, that's nice. Okay, coming soon, so clearly not done yet. We've got a couple here, three of them, so I guess these two are not done yet. Uh, the green one always looks appealing to me, let's go ahead and try the green one. Clicked on that. Looks like this is a mouse game. So, uh, I don't see any other information about controls, so we'll see. A mission map opens as you progress. A clear vision of the goal is half the path to it. After defeating the Baron and passing the region, you can select several cards and an item that will be added to your campaign progress. This can facilitate and speed up the mission of the next region. However, you do not have to go through all the regions to defeat the king. Okay, there's a lot of, uh, text windows here. During the mission, you will find various items. By default, they are added to the warehouse. Take an item with you to the battle, move it to your bag. Items differ in rarity, shape, and effects. Many items require activation or can only be used once. I feel like I'm reading the game manual to like a Nintendo game when I was a kid. And I'm dropped here. Um, I don't know what I'm looking at, folks. I got nothing in my stuff. That's me, I guess. Presumably. Uh, I'm adorable. I do like the graphics very much. I like the images a lot. But I'm not sure who I am or where I am. Baron battle. The main reason why we're here. Okay. Rest. No pop up there. Treasure. Normal battle. Piece of cake for a hero like you. Normal battle. Piece of cake for you. Okay, so I guess I just choose one. There's arrows in some of these, which is confusing me a bit. I'm not sure what I'm looking at. Well, let's go fight some hedgehogs, I guess. Oh, that little green thing was me. I see. Okay. Uh, in the game, you have several main resources, gold, energy, health, and cards on hand. Uh, at the beginning of each turn, you get as much energy as indicated in the left column. Received energy does not burn at the end of the turn and can be accumulated until it reaches a maximum. Okay. This turn, you can destroy one card from your hand until the end of battle to increase the energy income. To do this, hover over the card and press right mouse button. I'm not going to remember all this. This is too much. This game really needs a proper tutorial, I think. Now, again, it's early access, maybe. Hopefully, they're planning on implementing a tutorial. I don't have any information about what their, their development plan is like. You know, the turn remaining cards in the hand are discarded and you take new ones. Number of cards you take at the beginning of a new turn depends on the number of cards that remain with you at the end of the last turn. But so do you... That's very confusing. It says you discard your remaining cards. So then... Maybe this will make more sense as we play it. Oh, there's math here. Um, if you have four cards left, you'll take five. If three is also five... I guess, I mean, if you have three. 
You also take five. If there are two left, then you only take four. Manage your hand is very important. Um, managing your hand. Oh goodness, I, I I wanna wanna write these developers a nice note and just say, hey folks, you do need to get a native English speaker or a, a professional editor of some sort to take a look at your grammar there. Use card combo abilities. Each card in the game is one of six tags. Almost every card in the game has additional abilities to be activated. Oh man, you guys, folks, there's so much text here to read. I'm not gonna remember any of this. I'm not gonna remember any of this. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep hitting continue. Okay, these are the images in Russian, so that's not very helpful. Maybe this game is easier to understand in Russian. Maybe it's just the translation is a bit. Oh my! Oh, there's so much text. I'm not, no, 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 I refuse. Okay, that's too much reading. I'm sorry. <laughs> that's just too much reading. This art is beautiful. I love the art so much. The card game may be very fun, but I just cannot. You, you can't give me a manual one page at a time and say, all right, now go. That's, that's too much for me to learn. Oh gosh, okay. Uh, the mouse over is odd. The positioning is not where you would think it would be. Nothing, nothing. You gotta go up. Where? It's a little buggy. It's a little buggy. Here. Oh my gosh, okay. Uh... <laughs> Discard cards one, draw cards two. I can't... I don't know what this... <laughs> Card, you need to stay up. Please don't, don't disappear. Trick. I I feel like somebody wrote out a 10-page manual to Magic the Gathering. Had me read it one page at a time and then said, "All right, play." And it, uh I mean, well, what? That's too much information. You gave me too much information. I I don't understand. Gain two armor. Can I just play as many cards as I want? Discard one card, gain five armor. Deal three damage. I don't understand what these two are. What does the red triangle mean? This one's got a red triangle on the top and this black diamond down there. This one's got two blue dot. Oh my gosh, two blue dots. This one's got one blue dot down here, but not up in the top. This has got two red triangles, and this has got two blue dots. I'm so confused. I am honestly very confused. Alright. This seems... good. Five armor sounds good? How do I... How do I... <laughs> oh, you get a drag. You get a drag? Where do I, where do I drag it? There's nice particle effects. Okay, now I select a card to discard. Why is this one, like, grayed out? I have two of these. So I guess one of those, and I'll get five armor instead of two. Okay, wait, why? What? What? What am I doing? What am I selecting? Oh, I have to choose between these two. I guess I want to draw a card, right? Because I'm low on cards now. Now I can't do any- okay, this is the energy here. I can't do anything else. And turn? What are these? I don't know what these are. I don't know what any of this is. I guess end turn. That does seem to be the only thing I can do. Did anything happen? Okay, so I didn't discard. That was maybe a mistranslation before. Uh, gain 10 gold. Restore. I don't need to restore anything. Discard one card and then draw two cards. If I do that and discard... Card. I haven't taken any damage. 
What happened to the, the defense, the shield things? Do I still have that? I don't know if I need money. Discard that. I got one more point. There's no lightning bolt thingies because I don't understand how that works. Punch somebody? I'm gonna punch one of these adorable hedgehogs. I feel really bad about it. Okay. It seems like if it has the symbol here, and then you play another one that has a symbol up there, then you get some kind of chain reaction. I don't have any of this left, so I guess... I guess end turn. Oh, I took damage that time. I got three energy. I'm just gonna start punching. I'm just gonna start punching. Okay, so this is the two things that were listed below it, and I have to choose one of them. Whack, whack this hedgehog. Now it said something about, depending on how many cards you have in your hand, that affects how many you draw next turn. So if I use this one to gain two armor, which I have no idea where the armor goes, is this the armor? Then I'll have fewer cards and I won't be able to draw as many next turn, right? I think so. I think I'm understand. So I think I'm just gonna leave it there. I think I'm fine. I don't think these little hedgehogs are gonna hurt me too bad. Okay, so now I have five cards. Oh, and I have four. Okay, so it saves. That's right. It said it saves. It rolls over. Um. Okay. I'm gonna deal three damage to you, and you're gonna be a dead a dead hedgehog. Get it? Dead head. Dead hedgehog. I'm gonna do this, and discard. I'm gonna discard this heal. I don't think I need to heal. Now I get two more cards, and gain two armor. And now I get this fiery fist. Kaboom! Punched you. Alright. I'm starting to get the hang of it, I think. But it is not easy to understand how to start playing this game. I guess I'm gonna take some money. Money's good. I got money. What am I do? What, am I, what do I do with money? <laughs> I'm so confused. What do I do with this? Why do I have this? Oh wait, used to buy cards from a merchant. That tooltip takes a long time to pop up, relatively speaking, compared to the other stuff. You're dead. I did it. I won. Turn the hedgehog into a dead hog. I guess this is my level. XP, gold, plus four. I'm a winner. New item obtained. What? It, what? What this? Select one card to keep. Do I not get to keep my cards? No. I don't know. I guess this one. Alright, so I'm this green thing. That was not explained well. Um, what we got here? Hard battle. A merchant. Another hard battle. Normal battle. Treasure. So can I? I can't go there. I can't go back. So all I can do is either go to a merchant or go to a hard battle, it seems. Wait, can I go to this one? A normal battle? Okay, I can. These images are wonderful, folks. They have this very lovely storybook feel, and I really do love the images. There's no doubt about that. The, the visuals in this game, real, real nice. Well done. Five stars on these illustrations. Love them. Learning how to play the game, don't love it as much. Um, it's not great. I'm very confused. Alright, how do I do this? It said if I drag it... You can move any card from hand, from your hand, to the energy area and increase the energy income for four future turns. See, this is the time you don't need the four future turns. Move card will be destroyed till the end of battle. Is this the energy area? <laughs> Let's try it. Oh, okay, that worked. Wait, no. What? 
but it didn't go up. It just used the card. I didn't want to use the card. I wanted to burn it. Burn, burn this. How do I... How do I do it? I'm so confused. How do I... I wanna... Where do I put it? Help me. I think I might die. I feel like I don't understand. I, s I still feel like I don't understand how this game works. Basically at all. I'm just gonna keep... I'm just gonna keep wailing on this one. Stop it. Stop hurting me. I don't like it. Please stop. I guess... Wait, why do I have four now? What happened? I'm so confused! Alright. Let's get this done. Okay. So I beat it. I won. But I... Super... Wait, new item obtained again. I super do not understand what I'm doing. Unlocked. Deal one damage for each attack card in deck. I don't know how many cards are even in my deck. Um... I guess take that one? Okay, I have these. What are they? What is this? What does it do? I need information. Here we go. Treasure map. Modifies cards amount to choose from after battle by one. I do not understand what that means. Uh, six damage to all foes is about- Yeah, I'll take that. Okay, we got a little Tetris mini mini game going on here. Um, presumably this can't hurt anything and I can fit it, so I guess I'll take that. I do like- that's very clever. That mechanic is clever. I feel like- I feel like this game is clever, but because it's really, really badly translated, I feel like, um, I don't understand what I need to do, you know? Are these, like, one-way arrows? In which case, I can't get here. Because this is one way, in the other way. I don't think I'm up for a hard battle. Let's go to this store. What can I buy? Nothing that I care about. I don't need any of this. I mean, this is nice, but it costs 300 monies, which I don't have. This one is fine, but I already have, I think, a couple. I want- I need to attack. Okay, here we go. We got a battle. Let's go- let's go battle some more adorable wooden critter. Oh, that's nice. Oh, I like that. That's good. Okay. <laughs> okay, apparently there's only two attack cards in my deck. So deal two deal- Whoa! I'm low on the health. Okay. Okay. I think I understand how the chains work. If I do this... Yeah, it lights this up. And I can restore some more HPs. So wait, did that- did that weapon attack me as well or something? So confused! Why are you hurting me so much? Stop it! See, now I can't actually see the stats of my foes. So I'm not sure which of these is actually better. I think I'm gonna die if I don't take the armor. This is 10 damage. Actually, even with the armor, I think I'm about to die. I do think I'm about to die, though. Yeah, I do think I do appear to be dead. You lost, but your journey does not end here. True hero, a true hero, will not give up so easily. You will lose region progress and go back to the campaign checkpoint before entering the region. God, the translation in this is so bad, you guys. So I just lost everything from this whole area? Oh, man. Let's try the snowy one, I guess. At least I know where I am now. One enemy looks good. Let's do one enemy. Let's fight just one of these people. I still have my money. Okay, well, that's something. I'm just gonna do a punch on this guy. Punched ya. He just threw beer at me! Excuse me, friend. That was very rude. Kablam. Punched ya. I'm a winner. I got an apple pie. Store 3 HP after... After battle. The tooltips really ought to come up a little faster, I think. New card unlocked. 
One damage for each armor you have. Interesting. Ugh, I don't like any of these. I don't really have- I haven't been using the armor. Maybe that's why I lost. I'm really not sure. Guess the cheap one? Alright, here I am. Rocky Lake Hurricane. Can I... Oh, I lost all my items! Take this- I'm gonna take this apple pie, it looks delicious. Let's fight another- another beer-wielding... beaver. See, this is what I'm talking about. I need to decide now whether I'm gonna gain armor or draw cards, but I can't see how much damage this person's gonna do to me, so I don't know if I need any more armor. I already got four. I guess give me a card? Okay. That was a good decision, but man, that was tricky. I really wish I could figure out how to do the burning cards thing to increase this. But there is no indication of how that works. I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna punch your face as many times as I can, which is three times. Four times. Your face, been, your face been punched to death. I did it. And I got a super potion. Ooh, I got a rare bamboo sword. Each third card with tag attack played this turn will deal double damage. Heck yes. Give me more of these attack cards. They're so cheap, and they're the only way I have to harm my enemy. Give me this. Oh, I got this. Forgot about this. How we doing? I gotta fight. I gotta fight two people now. Or I can go to the store. How much money do I have? 68. Anything good seemed like it cost more than that. Let's, uh, let's fight these two instead. Bring it! This says damage immune with a one. Does that mean immune to one damage? Or immune for one turn? So confused. Wait, why do you have seven attack power now? What happened? I don't understand what happened. You had, you had three attack power before. Now you have seven. Why is this? I don't know. I'm just gonna kill you. I'm so confused all the time when I'm playing this game. When do I get to rest? Man, this area is big. That's the boss down there. I'm not gonna make it there. You, you, you people know I'm not gonna make it there. I need a, I need a rest area. Can I request a rest area, please? Can I buy something else over here? You can get another one of these, I guess. Just keep, just keep bopping them in their faces seems to be my favorite strategy. It's treasure, but it's one-way treasure. Let's do it. Maybe there's a rest on the other side. Yeah, I want to approach. Found some treasures. You can only take one with you. Strawberry pie. Leaf battery. An apple. Give me another pie. I do like my pies. Give me this pie. I'm gonna eat it. Oh no, I went a one way and there's real hard battles here. Well, this is the end of the road for me, I think. Sure. Ha! I'm not gonna last- how, how on earth can you possibly... ...survive something like this with the cards that they give you? It seems- it does seem impossible. I almost killed you. But you're gonna almost kill me right- right now. I'm almost dead. <laughs> Just like that. At least I did that first. And now I die. And I'm dead. Thank you for murdering me. Well... Um... I had planned on playing an hour of this, folks. Uh... It has not been an hour. It actually has only been about 35 minutes. Uh, which I will edit down, of course, for my very long silences while I stare at the screen in in comprehension. Um, can I? I'm afraid to hit escape to go back to the menu because I'm afraid it's going to close the game. Because there's no anything on the screen right now. Um, my, my impression of this game, my first impression after my blind first look, uh, clearly not written by English native speakers and the translation is not very good. Perhaps the Russian translation, or the Russian, probably, presumably the original Russian, uh, is... It contains better explanations, perhaps? Uh, I mean, I'm just guessing here. I don't really speak Russian, uh, so I can't check that out. I would imagine maybe the Russian instructions are a little bit clearer and less confusing. 
Um, the English ones are not very good, and I am still just as confused as I was at the start. I've understood- I've figured out a few things. i figured out a few of the tricks and the mechanics here, but I still feel completely out of my depth, and I feel like I don't really understand what's going on or what I need to do. Uh, and that whole, like, burning a card to increase your energy output thing just didn't seem to work at all. Or if it does work, then the instructions they gave were incorrect. So, yeah. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and say, again, this is early access, they're still working on it. My feedback to the developers is you really need to work on the English translation and making sure your instructions are clear. And I would really strongly recommend, if at all possible, to put, like, a proper tutorial in there. Like, an in-game tutorial, rather than just giving them giving your players some windows with a lot of text, which isn't translated very well, and then expecting them to remember it, because that was that was too much information all at once. Uh, so my recommendation would be, I mean, obviously, if this looks amazing, and the art certainly looks amazing, definitely five stars in the art. And if you feel like you're, maybe, maybe you're a Russian speaker and you want to try it out in Russian, or you're willing to deal with the confusing stuff, or maybe you're watching me play going, Ira, you idiot, this is not that difficult. I understand what you need to do. Cool, uh, you can grab the game now in early access. However, for the majority of players, I think I would recommend holding off on this one and maybe seeing how it progresses and how it develops, because right now it is really confusing and difficult to play, and uh, it's a shame. It's a shame, because the, uh, the art style is really beautiful and I really want to play more of it just to look at those lovely pictures. Uh, so that's my impression. Uh, once again, if this isn't your cup of tea, if this game was not for you, do not worry, my friends. You know I'll be back soon with another new indie game. And you never know, that one might turn out to be your new favorite game. Thank you so much for watching, folks, and I'll see you next time. How do I play this game? Do you guys know? Anyone?